Hi everybody and welcome to my latest LEGO Technic creation, the 1000 speed gearbox. Um, this video came about from a comment that I received on my 256 speed gearbox where someone said, oh what's next, the 1000 speed gearbox? I thought he was being a little bit sarcastic but I thought, heck, why not, let's give it a go. So the way this gearbox works is that I've got 10 different switches in the middle here. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, connected to 10 differentials around the back and so the way this works is that each of these switches has got a label on it um, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 all the way up to 512 you might notice these labels are pretty much a binary number expansion and what happens is that every time you turn on one of these switches to the number it adds that number to the overall output speed divided by a thousand so for example if you want to create a speed of uh, 1 to a thousand you just switch this switch here, it's got the label 1 on it, it becomes 1 out of 1000. If you want to create 2 out of 1000, switch that one and turn that one off, so it becomes 1 out of 500. And by doing that, uh, these numbers allow you to create pretty much every combination from, um, from 1 to 1023. So for example, if you want to create uh, 0 0.123, you'd need to add um, 64, which is over here, plus 32, plus 16, plus 8, plus 2, plus 1. If you add up all those numbers, they'll add up to 123. So the overall gearing ratio will become uh, 123 divided by 1000, which is 0 0.123. Okay, so I'll give you a demonstration. So at the moment all the switches are in neutral, so when I turn on the motor, uh, the output doesn't move because the connection between the input and output is disconnected. If I switch switch number 1, on uh, it's going to get a gearing ratio of 1 to 1000 so we can see the output moving very slowly uh, it's 1 to 1000 if I then add switch 2 we make 3 out of 1000 so it's a little bit faster you can see it go a little bit more quickly add on 4 get 7 out of 1000 um, we can add some of the larger numbers like 256 so 256 plus the 7 it's 263, so we've now got a gearing ratio of 263 to 1000 between input and the output. And what that means is that these combination of switches allow us to create every possible three decimal place gearing ratio. Uh, so that's effectively any gearing ratio out of 1000 uh, that you may want. So I'll just show you the back of the gearbox. So from this side here you can see the input coming all the way down the centre here. From the input are each of the switches that work through the differentials to create all the different gearing ratios depending on the setting of the switches. And what I've got here at the top, which I'll explain a bit more later, is a special gearing that converts the gearing ratio from 1024, which is the binary to the power of 10, which is the 10 switches, back to 1000. So effectively this implements 1024 to 1000 down gearing. Uh, just be able to create a three decimal uh, gearing system rather than it being out of 1024. Uh, if you're interested in the mathematics behind this design, what I've got here is a diagram representing the uh, differential gearing system. So what we've got up here is differential 1, 2, 3, all up to 10 represented by these blue boxes. Uh, these are connected through the input, through the switches A1, A2, all the way to A10 and these A1 to A10 uh, represent 1s or zeros, so either it's connected to the input or, or it isn't depending on the state of the switch and if you go through the mathematics and work out the relationship between the output and input it's given by A1 plus 2 times A2 plus 4 A3 all the way up to 512 times A10 all of that divided by 1024. Now you probably recognize the top line is a, a binary number expansion um, where this is effectively a binary number given by these digits A1 to A10 either being 1 or 0 and what that means is you can create any combination up to 1023 out of 1024 using the correct combination of switches to determine the ratio that you're after. Now because this gearing ratio is out of 1024 uh, what I've done is actually convert that to being out of 1000 by designing a special gearing differential system uh, given by this grey part over here which converts that 1024 uh, back down to being out of a thousand and the way I've done that is by just multiplying uh, the output through by a gearing ratio of 1024 to a thousand which cancels out the 1024 and makes it out of a thousand which is equivalent to 128 over 125 and I've created this differential 
to a differential uh, system here to create that exact ratio of 128 to 125. And the way I've done that is um, through a video I've done previously on designing N to P gearing ratios using two differentials. And by going through um, that technique, I've come up with this design here, uh, which works very well. So it's a gearing ratio of two between output and differential one, a third to the center of D2 from the output, a gearing ratio of one, minus a third back there, and 21 across here. So that gives us exactly that ratio that, that is needed to make that conversion. Well, that was the 1000 speed gearbox. I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. If you'd like to support this channel, it would be appreciated if you subscribe or leave a like. We'll see you next time. Thanks very much.